Say hi when you pop on. Tell me where you're from. I'm Robin with Robin Sweet Three. How's everybody doing? Hello, hello, hello. And welcome. How's everybody doing? Going to be working on a grapevine wreath tonight. I'm still kind of pecking away at it here. There's still some pieces that I think are going to harm the door, so I'm just trying to get everything cleaned up off of it. <coughs> Hi, Susan. Hi, Fanna. How are you? Susan, your stuff did not go out yet because I, I have some new things. You were interested in... Um, in the blockhead for the um, leprechaun. So I didn't know if you wanted me to wait for that. I'm not finished with it yet. I'm working on the hat. I'm still waiting for the, the fur that's gonna create his eyebrows and his beard. So I can go ahead and I can ship the Annie and then do that when it comes when it's finished i didn't know if you wanted all oh and i'm releasing one more sign and i didn't bring it in um let me run and get it real quick Come back. Sorry about that. Okay. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, great. That's what I was afraid of. And my mic's not working, my phone's not working, the computer that I usually have everything hooked up to is not working. Um, Thana, can you hear okay? I have nowhere to plug the mic into. Oh, wait a minute, let me try here. That's his earphones. I don't know if it'll work. Is that any better? Ouch. You can hear me. Okay. Susan, I would try going back. Try going back out and coming back in and see if that works. Hi, Sherry. Hi, Jean. Hi, Joan. <laughs> it could be your tablet or it's like everything else that's going wrong today. It's I'm just technically having so many issues. Oh, good. Hi, Tina. All right, this is the new sign I'm releasing today. It's not in, on the in my Etsy store yet, but it's a it's a. I had a customer ask me, she had bought the gingerbread recipe in the five by seven. Um, she wanted an Easter recipe, so this is actually a peanut butter egg recipe, and it's going to come with. A bunny and some eggs so I will be posting that this week we're trying to cut the bunny out in wood um, so we're gonna be working on that and someone also wanted it as grandma's peanut butter eggs so I'll have it as the peanut butter egg 
or grandma's peanut butter egg, or we can do Nana or whatever anybody wants to put on that. Okay, so that will be available this week. I'm also, and why I have you here, I'm just gonna put this together. I have this bunny in pink and I have him in, um, in gray. So he will be available this week also. I'm working on the sign and that's when I ran into problems with the computer and problems with my downloads. It has um, a fluffy tail that goes with it. So that will be available this week. Just keep watching my Etsy store. <clears throat> Excuse me. <clears throat> then his ears go behind here. I think we'll make the pink one a girl. And then we'll go ahead and put a bow in her hair. I think that would be cute, don't you? Hi, Nanny Dot. Okay. I'll go ahead and bill you for those, Susan, and get that right off. I sent out Vicky's today, and I forgot to mail the Valentine's with it. So if Vicky's on, honey, your Valentine's are being sent out tomorrow because the post lady had already picked it up. All right, there's my little girl bunny, and then it will be available in gray, too. So, I think with this one, we'll put a little bow in her hair. I think that would look really cute. And they'll have, they'll have the uh, tinsel ties to the back to attach them to a wreath. All right, let's get started. Now, what I'm doing with this is I'm going to be using up some leftover mesh. <clears throat> it's just my way of using everything. So we've got four rolls of the jute mesh, or four ruffles, and then three of this. So my plan is to stick this right in the middle. Except this wreath is really out of shape. So I'm thinking right about there, or I may hang it from here. Let me just work on this a second and see. Thank you, Sherry. Yeah, I've been working on those for a while. This week was spent taking everything out of here that was Christmas and reorganizing and making a new table, making more storage, um, cleaning all that mess up. So I've just been all about organize, organize, organize this weekend. So, so, I'm thinking if I do it like that, but I wanted this up the top, but if I put the bow up the top, you're not going to see that. So, let me think here. Maybe what we should do is just do our bow first. This one says, love is sweet. And my computer died right before I was able to print the little um, cupcakes that will come with this sign. So <laughs> that's a project tomorrow, or it's a project running my computer to the computer guy and getting him to fix it. So. All right, let's work on our sign. And I always have a hard time trying to figure out where to put my wreath while I'm working on the bow. So now I have a shelf on the side here that has a nice hook on it. And so there, it's going to stay right there. I know where it's at. I found all my missing tools. So now they're right here in my caddy. So I'm feeling really good. All right, 
Now, what I've chosen for the bow is, I'm going to go ahead with this like burlap mesh or burlap ribbon. <coughs> then I'm going to go with the red. And then I'm going to go with, let me see. I'm going to do that. Now I'm going to go with the red first, this red. So I want about a 12 inch, I'm going to go with a 14 inch tail. <coughs> Excuse me. Everybody have a good weekend. I didn't think what day it is. <coughs> Since I'm not, my store is not open, but I'm accepting um, call-in orders. I don't really know what day it is because <laughs> I'm not at the cash register all day. <coughs> now this is six inch loop. I'm going to do four, four of the red. Because I want to get one up here, one up here, one here, and one there. And like I said, I'm doing six inch. I feel like I'm doing this backwards because I had this on this side. And maybe when I get... Um, I have another shelf coming. I've got two shelves up here now. So maybe I can move it over to here. I'll figure it out. It's all a work in progress. <coughs> Excuse me. I got a tickle in my throat. <coughs> like I said, it's just going with the day. Nothing's going right today. my dovetail. <coughs> oh, got that a little shorter. No, I'm going to leave that. We don't have to do, it doesn't have to be totally even. All right, so with this one, I'm going to do two loops. <coughs> Gonna go just a little bit shorter than the other one. Welcome, Cheryl. How are you? Everybody have a good holiday. Everybody staying safe. Everybody wearing their mask. We have another family member who lost another family member to COVID after just losing her brother a couple months ago to COVID. It's just not fair. <clears throat> so how cold is it out there, Cheryl? I think I'm gonna go with this one next. This has a little gold in it as well as this and I've ordered this ribbon in it will be in my shop soon I'm still waiting for confirmation the shipping confirmation it was my cousin's cousin and like I said, she just lost her brother a couple months ago to COVID. We kind of um, found each other, which is kind of nice because all her family is gone now. It's just her and her daughter. And now she just lost her cousin this weekend. It's just not fair. These people are healthy people and it's showing no mercy on anybody. Then I'm going to put this as my last ribbon 
and I'm thinking I'm going to do three loops of this. It was cold here. We were told yesterday we were going to get three inches. And we actually got five. <laughs> but it was very heavy, wet snow. So it's pretty much, it's melting now. <clears throat> Ooh, I see okay from there. I hope you can. And then I'm going to make the middle loop kind of small. I just had my, here we go, my tinsel tie. You know me and my tinsel tie. And I listed my, I don't know if you can see it, my Annie wreath. I listed that today. Oh, thank you, Cheryl. Welcome. go live on Monday nights at 6 and Tuesdays at 2 and everything is downloaded from here onto YouTube so if you missed it it's still on Facebook but you can also access it on YouTube all right now let's see what we're gonna do here I said this is a really natural wreath and it's kind of got a you know what it's got a flat area here but this is rounded so maybe we'll keep this as the bottom now that I'm seeing it and I'm gonna put my bow here at the top I love this ribbon and this ribbon matches the sign perfectly I did that on purpose have an Etsy shop and all my signs are listed there except the peanut butter egg recipe which hopefully will be listed in the next day or two and then hopefully I will be able to get the cupcakes to print for this wreath so what I will actually do is make the wreath without the cupcakes and then when I add them I will put a picture on because that's the best I can do right now <laughs> maybe it's a full moon does anybody know is it a full moon all right let's do some curls here I do this to kind of pull these tails up a little higher. I want this like in the middle of these two. So it's pulling the gold out of the ribbon that has the red with the gold. And it's kind of highlighting the gold inside the Harlequin one, and this has to go over here. That's how you get your bow to stand up more, is you pull it off to the side. You put your fingers in the bow, loops, 
and then you just pull, pull and twist. All right, Let's see what we got here. There. All right. Put this over here. Now I may shorten the red and the tan and make them just a little bit shorter than the other two. Just playing with it to see if I want to cut them or not. do I think it'll go right here so I do have a beadsmith but I also have this and this is we are memory keepers I got this in Joann's I think it's more for people that do like scrapbook scrapbooking and stuff like that there's actually a cutter on this side that works perfect it gives me a perfect uh, size circle that I can get my tinsel tie in because I do not use pipe cleaners. Hey, miss. How are you? We are working with my love is sweet sign. I could not print out the cupcakes, so I'm going to have to cut them out when I can get my computer working. And then show you what they look like on the wreath. They're kind of like my um, my Annie wreath. She comes with three hearts. This one will come with three cupcakes. this through the other side. Then I got her apron. She's happy. I don't see Missy wearing her apron. I need a new one. just reposition this. I'm going to tuck this tie down inside too. I've got a cut on my finger so it seems to be hitting every little piece. Of... Hey Sue! Yay! Fanna likes her eight friends. There you go. What are you having for dinner? We had ham and potatoes. I want to know, did you send that snow our way, Missy? We got five inches overnight. <laughs> I even found my needle. That's how awesome it is when you reorganize. Everything you've lost, you, you find. <laughs> I was missing pliers. I was missing my E6000 glue. I even found that. I'm telling you, I was like, what? <laughs> uh, I like to share, Thana. <laughs> well, 
this doesn't want to go through the needle. Come on. I am bound and determined to get through this live tonight after everything that's gone wrong. I'm doing this. So it better go in. Or I'm going to make it go in. There we go. Now it's in. And now I can't get it off the needle. And of course I'm bleeding all over the needle. <sighs> we'll just fashion a little bandage. There we go. I told you I'm not stopping. <laughs> there we go. Come on. I didn't really make the tinsel tie long enough, but there we go, we got it. There, ta-da. Oh, we did. We were only supposed to get three inches, and we ended up with five, so. I am going to end up shortening these. They're too long. And they are interfering with the sign. There we go. bleed on anything. <clears throat> there, I kind of like them shorter. There we go. Let's pull this one out here. Let's do that one short too. There. Much better. <clears throat> hey, Esther. How are ya? Love that gnome, girlfriend. That is really cute. And I played Sue this weekend. I organized my room. <laughs> I got rid of my big embroidery machine over here. That one in another room. So now I have all this space. <clears throat> Thank you for sprinkling. For some reason, we can't. So... <clears throat> I think that's how I want it now. There. I may still be playing with this tomorrow. When I get those cupcakes on. And you know what? I may just save this because I can take it down in here. Yes. Let's not waste it. Let's just tuck it down in there and glue it to the back of the loop. Why not? We don't want to waste it. There we go. What the hey? I may end up having to move this sign down a little more too. So, all right. <clears throat> so, because of this flat part here, let's see what we can do with these. I think I'm going to go with the woodland ruffle here, where you roll it in a little bit and then you, you do it that way. I'm setting the stage at the bottom. 
so that when I do get the cupcakes to print out, I can um, place them in and around here. <clears throat> and then I thought I would use a bunch of red pom-poms to si simulate the cherries on top of the um, cupcakes. That's the plan. Whether it goes that way or not, <laughs> we'll find out. Oh. All right, so let's see if I can get this to go down in. What I'm going to do, okay, we've got four of these, but we've got three of those. So I think if I do that right there, It does, but look at that, it's sticking my apron. But one room turned into four rooms because I had to take some stuff out and move some stuff around. So, and then my filing system was really awful. So I bought a bunch of shelves. I'm buying two filing cabinets. So it's just like Ugh. One thing after another. Thank you. Yep, that's the plan. And like I said, we're using up some leftover mesh. This is always a good way to use leftover mesh. I think I'm going to have it go across like that. All right, it's kind of hard working with your hand all wrapped up, <laughs> but I'm bound and determined to do this. I told you, I'm getting through this. And then in case any of you missed it the other night, I'll show you my new signs that are already on the website. Well, there's a piece I missed that should not stay. There we go. I just, there's a split on it. You know how you get those splits? And then I hit the, the um, grapevine wreath, which just opened it up. <laughs> so I was bleeding. No big deal. We got it. The show must go on. Now I cut myself in another place. Jeez. If it happens, it happens on a live. Right, Sue? All right, this one's gonna go right here. Yep. Got it going on in two places. I'm going to get a band aid or I'm going to be everywhere.
some in here. Sorry about this. Right, right. I actually have these, not these bandages, but I have these other ones, and boy, they stay on through water and everything. They are awesome. And I meant to grab a band-aid before I got started because it has cracked open once today, and I forgot. Because then my computer quit on me. So, note to self. Add band-aids nearby. There we go. Now at least that will take care of it. All right. Now we need this one. I actually carry this hand cream in the shop that is called No Crack, and that stuff is amazing. I thought there was a fourth one of that. There was. It ended up on the floor. I knew I wasn't going nuts. too long so I'm going to pull some of it out and cut so we don't waste it. There we go. This is bothering me the way it's laying. Like I said I'll be messing with it all night probably. There. Oh, much better. This is still a little too long. All right. We'll do this one next. Nope. Pull it down that way. There we go. And see, even though I have two different kinds of mesh here, the way I'm spacing them it makes like it makes it look even like they belong so there's that darn stick again why did they have that in there anyhow I'll tell you, when I first started with Reese years ago, they used to be full and not full of all this junk, and I'm paying good money for them. I just don't understand why they're looking really chintzy and gnarly. Okay. And then we'll put this one next. Crossway.
usually you don't need a needle with the tinsel ties because they stay really nice and um, tight, stiff, because there's, there's really good wire in there. Okay. That might have been the end of the roll because, boy, that's really curly. <coughs> Oh no. <laughs> so true, Esther. Well, maybe I need to stock up on them now then. I get mine mostly from Sims Pottery. I still have a few of my mom's uh, left. When she passed away a couple years ago, I, I saved all her wreaths. And then what I do is um, I take them apart and redo them and usually give them to my sons as a gift from her and me because um, I remake them. Okay, that's it so far. And I'm gonna have to adjust this some. I'm gonna have to bring this over, each one over, because it's not quite in the middle. There. There, that's better. And then see my, I think I'm going to do just a small bow here and a small bow there. That's what I'm liking. Just like a cheater bow. Um, just like a little two looper. but not that long so I'm going to make the loop the tail as long as the loop better I, I, I do like them yeah all right and we're going to do the same with this one. I'm not too worried about the construction of it right now. I'm more concerned about getting the size right. And then, like I said, I'll put the the cupcakes in it, and then put some red pom-poms in there, and I think we'll be good. I wanted this to be more about the bow and the sign. not long enough. Don't go there again. Uh-oh. Better get out there, Missy. I know everybody's like using up their their uh, pine wreaths, but I haven't found them to be real skimpy this year. So I wasn't real happy with them. 
they're okay for like, you know, using mesh to cover them up, but I really wasn't happy with the ones that I got. tails. I even have, let's do the other bow and then I'll show you what and I'm, I'm even going to go shorter on these. I want it to be all about the Harlequin. There we go. All right. Let's do another one like that. We had red on the bottom. So I'm just doing two loops and two tails. keeping everything about the same. The uh, Sam's Club ribbon will not fit on my, my um, ribbon holder there. It won't fit on the dowel. It's not switched. It's actually I brought in more lighting. I got rid of the embroidery machine. And so this is a countertop on top of my shelf. And now I have shelving all over here, over here. And you can actually see back there it looks, looks a lot neater. I've been working my tail off. I closed the store last week and said if anybody needs anything, just message me. I'll put it outside the door. I'm not opening. So how's my little Max, Kayla? Yes, it's wired ribbon, Helen. Um, this will be in my Etsy shop probably by the end of the week. Um, the ribbon, I'll show you the ribbon I used on the Annie wreath. That will also be in my Etsy shop. I hit a spot where you can't get through. What? So now it's, it's just organized and cleaned up. <laughs> There we go. I just wanted that Harlequin to be a focal point. There we go. Now, let's shorten these tails. Barkley 
Lily's coming on Saturday for a haircut. So I'll have to take pictures. that Can you guys see me or did everything cut off oh my gosh did anybody see me or did everything go out how's that are we back in business? Everything kind of went out on me. It's like this blue. Okay. I'm just going to keep going then. My one ring light is totally out. My computer is totally off. So... Well, everything here is totally gone. I'm telling you, I got demons in this house or something. My computer went black. My ring light went black. My, my Amiibo turned off. <sighs> I'm telling you, something's brewing. Oh, I missed a bow here. Let's pull this over to here, and let's pull this over to here. I hope my computer comes back, because I can't handle two computers down. Alright, so, I had this that I showed everybody last year how to make. Um, we actually took cardboard and wrapped yarn around it in the shape of a heart. So maybe what we could do is take this apart just for now and use the hearts It's telling me I'm in the red. Oh my gosh. All right, that side's untangled. This can just give you an idea of what another thing you could do with it just by putting in some hearts and some pom-poms. The pom-poms are really easy to make. If you have, where is it, my pom-pom maker, they, you wrap them, wrap them, wrap them, close it, wrap and wrap on the other side. There's videos on my, my uh, thing that shows you how to make them. But even that would be cute in there, wouldn't it? But like I said, my plan is to get that, these cupcakes in the front here. But there's, there's a little visual for you. <laughs> this, this live has been nothing but confusion and 
crazy things happening here. There we go. I'll have my my um, cupcakes down here. I'll have some red um, pom poms to stim simulate. Can you guys still hear me? Can you still see me? Because, like I said, I'm not getting nothing. Um, are we live? Are we not? Give me some hearts. Give me some comments. Something. Because I'm seeing nothing. Can you all see me? Good, yay. I thought I lost everybody. Excuse me. I may have blown my computer. Excuse me again. Here is the Annie wreath. I don't know if any of you were able to watch the other night. But there's my Annie wreath. You get the block head and the three matching hearts. You can buy them separately or you can also buy them with the wreath. And this ribbon is coming in and this ribbon is in and this ribbon is coming in. Thank you. So that'll be available. Annie's already available. I have a couple people waiting on the ribbon. And then we have our gnomes. Happy Valentine's Day. This ribbon, I cannot wait for it to come in because we're gonna do this one. This one is awesome. We may do this one next, because this is just a winter snowman lover, primitive. I do have a fire sign. Somebody asked me about that. You belong to me is in two different colors, and the ribbon coming in from for this one is amazing. It's a rickrack, yellow with red. Oh. That is to die for. And then we have our I Love Cows. We have a welcome with kisses. And then we have my leprechaun. And that will be getting a blockhead. I've ordered his beard and his eyebrow fabric. So that will be really cute when it's done. And my blockhead bunny, I'm working on the sign for him. So they will be available in pink or gray. And then I don't have it in here colored. I thought I did. This sign, the grandmother's or the peanut butter egg recipe, that will come with the bunny and the three matching eggs. So that is what's coming up. These are not listed yet. They will be listed very soon. And hopefully I can finish this tomorrow and take pictures. So, and this says love is sweet. And I even found, and I want to put some of these in too, these jewels. I have them in like this red and then a clear. Very pretty. So we might even add some of those in there. The recipe is for peanut butter eggs. And this is an awesome recipe and all the directions are on here. It's a five by seven. I had one of my customers, 
she loves the little five by seven recipe signs and she wanted a recipe for Easter. And this works out perfect. I don't know if you can see it. It says chocolate at the top. So it says chocolate peanut butter eggs. The recipe is to die for. It is so good. <laughs> and easy, very easy. So yes. And see, I have ribbon coming in that has these colors, the background colors in it, the pink and the green. It is awesome. And then you've got pastel yellow and blue eggs, and you've got the three decorated eggs down here. And like I said, it'll come with a chocolate bunny. He's going to be in wood. And then you'll have some um, Easter eggs to go with it. This is not in there yet, but it will be. I was still doing finishing touches on it and my husband was supposed to cut this out for me yesterday and we just didn't get a chance. We got too busy. So hopefully. All right, I'm gonna sign off before something else blows up around here. <laughs> the bunny will be put on in my boutique as soon as we have the sign finished. So I'm working on that. The sign is finished for this. I'm just waiting on his fur to come in, the orange fur. So I thank you all for joining. I thank you all for sticking with me. I thank you all for sharing. And hopefully I won't blow any more up tonight. All right. <laughs> I may try and pop on on my other page, Robin's uh, Yorkie Nest with the puppies later. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. We'll see if everything is still working. Okay. Love is sweet. Be, be all you can be here. All right. Good night, everyone, and thank you.